In this section, we will look at something called the prime factorization of a number. And first, let's make a couple definitions clear. A prime number, it has exactly two distinct factors, one and itself. So the number one, if you think about the number one, is one prime. It's divisible by one and itself, but those numbers are not distinct. One only has a single factor, so one is not prime. Is two prime? Well, is two divisible by one? Yeah. Is two divisible by two? Yes. Is two divisible by anything else? No. Two is a prime number. Is three a prime number? Yes. Yes, three is prime. 3 is prime because it's divisible by 1, it's divisible by 3, and it's not divisible by any other number. Something that isn't prime is usually called a composite number, and a composite number has more than two factors. So take the number 4. 4 is divisible by 1, it's divisible by itself, but it is also divisible by 2, which makes 4 a composite number. Think about the number 5. 5 is divisible by 1, it's divisible by 5, but not by anything else. 5 goes on the prime list. And the number 6, think about that for a moment. Prime or not prime? Prime or composite? It's composite because 6 is divisible by 1 in itself, but it's also divisible by 2 and by 3. So 6 is not prime. And for that matter, every even number except for the number 2 is going to be composite. 2 is the only even prime number. So let's go on to a prime factorization. Um, let's look at the number 18 before we do. The number 18, I hope you know that that's not going to be a prime number because 18 is even but we want to list all of the factors of this number. So we know we have 1 and 18. And I always like to list my factors in pairs. I think it goes a little quicker and makes it easier to organize. The number 2, is 2 a factor? Yes, 2, is, two times 9 is 18. How about 3? Is 3 a factor of 18? Yes, 3 times 6. How about 4? Um, 4, 4 does not go into 18, 4 is not a factor of 18. How about 5? Five? 5 is not a factor of 18. And then we get to 6, which is already on our list, so 18 has 6 factors in total. Each one of these things, if I write it as 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, each one of these are factorizations of the number 18. I've taken that number and written it as a product. But what I want a prime factorization. A prime factorization is writing a number as the product of only prime factors. So none of those products that I had previous were prime factorizations. They all had a composite number. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use a tree. Pick two numbers that multiply to give us 18. How about 6 and 3? 6 times 3 is 18. Is 6 prime? No, 6 isn't prime. So we're going to branch off again. What are factors of 6? 6 is 2 times 3. Is 2 prime? Yeah, 2 is prime. Is 3 prime? Yes. Is this 3 prime? Yes, so I don't need to branch again. Our prime factorization of 18 is going to be the product of those numbers down on the end of this tree. It's 2 times 3 times 3. I'd like you to pause the video right now and try to write the prime factorization for 48. Okay, so 48. What times what is 48? Um, 6 times 8 is 48. Is the number 6 prime? No. 6 is 3 times 2. Are 3 and 2 prime numbers? Yes. Yes, they are. So we can stop with that branch. 
So in our prime factorization, we'll have a 3, we'll have a 2. How about the 8? Is 8 prime? I hope you're saying no, 8 is not prime. 8 is 2 times 4. Is this 2 prime? Yes, it is. Is this 4 prime? No. No, it is not. So what we have to do is we have to continue with another branch. 4 is 2 times 2. And now if you look at the ends of all the branches, all of those are prime numbers. I can now write my prime factorization, which is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Four twos being multiplied together. And a better way of writing this is 2 raised to the fourth power, 2 to the fourth, and then times 3. That exponent, that little number up high, is telling us how many times we're multiplying the base of 2 by itself. So there we go. Prime factorization, you should be good to go. Have fun, enjoy, and have a deliciously wonderful day.